The purpose of this experiment is to examine the conditions that apply to a rigid body in static equilibrium. This object is a small metal bar. Three different masses are used to produce three forces on the bar. As you can see, the equipment used in this experiment is very similar to that used in lab M3. The only difference is that in this lab, the object being examined has size. As was done in lab M3, you need to ensure that the string is sitting in the grooves on the pulleys. Attach the paper so that it is between the pulley supports, with the top of the sheet roughly at the top of the pulleys. Using the right triangles and the method that you used in lab M3, carefully transfer to the paper the position of the bottom two corners of the bar and the points on the three strings that are as far from the bar as possible. Push the bar against the paper, aligning the two bottom corners with the plotted points. Poke a pencil through each of the holes in the bar and also mark the short edges of the bar. Be careful that you do not change the position of the bar or strings with the triangles. Now carefully remove the paper from the board and lay it flat on the bench. Draw lines from the points indicating the positions of the holes on the bar to the points indicating the positions of the corresponding ends of the three strings. Draw a line connecting the centers of each of the holes, extending in both directions, and define this line as the x-axis of an xy reference frame. Choose the origin O to be the geometric center of the bar, and draw the y-axis perpendicular to the x-axis. Draw the direction of the force vector, W, due to the weight of the bar, parallel to F2. To calculate the torques acting on the bar, the lever arm distances must be indicated and measured. Extend the line of action of each force as a dotted or dashed line. For each force, construct a perpendicular line from the origin to the line of action of the force. The length of this perpendicular line is the lever arm distance for that force. Note, it is crucial that the lever arm distance for the weight force is zero.